Well, in Scotland, the government has announced that all children in Scottish schools will be back full time from mid-August onwards if coronavirus cases continue to fall. Ministers were intending to implement so-called blended learning, combining teaching at school and at home. But some parents said it would be too difficult for them to return to work in that case. Our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon, has the story. Let's give it one more shot. Final few days of home lessons for eight-year-old Lewis before the Scottish school holidays start. Exceptionally hard. It's, uh, as I said, it's been one of the most difficult things I've ever done. It's not something you're used to and it's not something that you're qualified to do. We're not teachers. So that's enjoying. Edinburgh City Council had offered Lewis and his brother just over one day a week of in-school teaching each next term. That's now set to change. Scotland's Education Secretary said children should be able to return to school full-time next term. We should prepare for children to be able to return to school full-time in August. I must stress, this is the aim that the government is now working towards. However, because it, it has to be achieved safely, it inevitably remains conditional and dependent upon ongoing scientific and health advice. The Scottish Government had been coming under growing pressure from opposition parties and some parents as it became clear what the blended learning model planned for next term would mean in practice. Some children had been offered around a day a week in school, others one week in three in class. Scotland's largest teaching union said they need agreement on safety concerns like PPE and testing before schools can get fully back to normal. We are certainly not opposing it for the sake of opposing it. We would like to be in a position where public health uh, in Scotland can allow schools to reopen more fully. But we are quite guarded uh, and we don't think simply because you announce it um, makes it a reality. Andy and Angela today relieved their children will be returning to school full time. Well, that's way better than I anticipated. You know, going back full time would be fantastic. Absolutely delighted. It's. Uh, Exactly the news I, I wanted to hear for, for parents and, and for kids. These plans, though, all dependent on infection rates remaining low. The Scottish Government stressing blended learning will stay as a contingency if the virus starts to spread again. Lorna Gordon, BBC News. So that was the picture in Scotland. In Wales, the government in Cardiff is still maintaining the strictest lockdown rules in the UK. And some measures will be eased next week. But people are asked not to travel more than five miles from home unless it's unavoidable. Um, our Wales correspondent, Howell Griffith, is in Cardiff Bay with the latest on the rules there. Howell? Yeah, here it seems like we'll be hibernating a little longer here in Wales. The Welsh Government in no rush to follow Boris Johnson's lead today, reiterating that the two-metre rule will remain in place in Wales for the foreseeable future. The Health Minister saying he's yet to see any evidence to prove that it's safe to make the change. Now, they're not ruling out a change at some point, and there are some who would like to know what's going to happen next. Welsh University saying they may be at a disadvantage in terms of attracting students from across the border if they can't offer for the same kind of interaction. One change we do know which is coming in Wales on the 6th of July is getting rid of that five-mile limit on non-essential travel. At the moment, people who want to go on a shopping spree, go to see relatives, are meant to stay local and within that five-mile radius causing some difficulties for some out-of-town shopping centres this week. They've reopened but realised they haven't got enough local customers. No date yet either for pubs or restaurants here in Wales. It's hard to know when they'll be able to bring back customers. The Welsh Government has this three-week cycle of reviewing and letting people know when they might be able to open so that hibernation may last maybe until August. Oh, well, many thanks again, Howell Griffith, there for us uh, in Cardiff for the latest there in Wales and in Northern Ireland. More changes have come into force today, so let's talk to Emma Vardy, our island correspondent in Belfast. Emma, what's the latest there? Well, people's social lives in Northern Ireland are starting to open up once again because now up to six people from different households can once again meet up indoors. Northern Ireland, the first place in the UK to permit this. But the wearing of masks is advised and, well, you need a pretty big sofa to have people round because the two-metre rule still applies. And still no overnight stays permitted 
in these circumstances. Still, though, a lot of caution urged for people who are shielding. Different set of guidance in place uh, for people in these circumstances. Although there is a pause in shielding expected a bit further down the line on July the 31st. Now, as to whether the two metre social distancing rule can reduce to one metre for the general public, as England is going to do, this is something Northern Ireland is still yet to decide. Emma, many thanks again. Emma Vardy there for us uh, in Belfast and Howell Griffith in Cardiff.